Hmm, we have a problem. I heard a clunk sound very vaguely, but... I hope we didn't lose our prop. Did something get hooked maybe on the prop and just rip it off? I get all dried off and get some warm clothes on, and then I'm gonna tell you what happened. We're Jason and Susie. In 2019, we bought Not Enough and learned how to sail her. After fixing up the boat, it was time for something bigger. While our new sailboat, Envision, has brought us new challenges, it also brings bigger adventures. We want to share those adventures with you. So join us as we have Adventures in Paradise. Well, looking like a kind of a gloomy day right now. It's supposed to be sunnier, or it's supposed to get sunnier. It's 66 degrees. What is today? It's like, it's Halloween, 2021. Got the sail up. We're out on beam reach, heading about five knots with a seven knot southerly wind. Hmm, we have a problem. We are... We were sailing, we turned the motor back on. We went over some crab pots. I heard a clunk sound very vaguely, but we, we now have it in gear and we're only going a knot. And when I steer, like I turn the wheel with it in gear, it should blow, it should blow over the rudder and turn us pretty quickly. But it barely turns us and we can't really do more than about a knot and a half. And at this point, either our props come off or we're dragging crab pot along the bottom. Um, I don't know how that's possible really, but um, we're not moving like we should be. I really didn't want to go swimming today. Not my idea of a swimming kind of day. 64 degrees now. <sighs> At least it's fall in the warm, the water is still not super cold yet. Are your feet in? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> There's something on the prop. Jason's a trooper. I was using Susie's phone for the video underwater, and I accidentally turned it off when I first clean the props so this is video underwater from after it was sort of already cleaned off. Okay. The problem I'm having it's not bad, it's just weeds on the prop it looks like. The thing that's hard is that the boat, we're not in huge waves, but the boat's going like this, and I'm under there and it's hitting me in the head. I'm putting a little line down here so I can hold on to something because, that's, look at the knot I just tied. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I feel like when I'm under there, I'm, that's fine. When I'm under there, I, I it, the boat's landing on top of me and there's a current and I just want to be able to hold on to something while I'm, using the knife under there. So I got this sailing knife back when we had not enough. It can pick knots out of lines. It can cut lines or sails in an emergency. It has halyard wrenches on it. And it's a good example. Today it's stainless steel. I can go down there and cut all those weeds off. That's fancy. Captain. Got your towel ready. Okay. Oh yeah, let me get these fins off. Alright, so I'm gonna get all dried off and get some warm clothes on and then I'm gonna tell you what happened.
Your rum? My rum. I have a really cool bottle that I just bought a rum, but I didn't want to bring the whole bottle out here. I'm going to drink this because I am cold. I wish I could remember what rum this is. It's like this good black spiced rum or dark spiced rum. Um, There's like it had a sail. The only reason I bought it's because on the label it had a sailboat. And up in the crow's nest of the sailboat there were girls with bikinis, even though the sailboat was from like hundreds of years ago. Um, all right, so what happened under there was we were driving along just mo well no we were sailing all the way up and we were going to anchor right just sail up and anchor but because i wanted to try and get closer to shore um i decided i would just turn the motor on as we reeled in our genoa furled it in and then so we, we I started the motor put it in gear and then we started furling in genoa and it got furled in and i looked down and we're only doing like half a knot so i increased the throttle and then Nothing happened. Well, we're, I saw a sail over a couple crab pots at the last minute when we were trying to get the Genoa in. So I turned the, the rudder with it in gear at about medium throttle and it did not turn the boat. So I knew thrust was not going over the rudder. But, but we would move a little bit and when I would put it in gear, the engine RPM would come down. So I'm like, the prop has to be there because the engine's coming down. So maybe a rope or a line from a crab pot got wrapped around it. I turned the engine on it, kind of coiled it up on there. And I went down there and there was, it sucks that I can't show you the initial video, but I had Susie's phone in my hand underwater and there was a ball of weeds like as big as the whole prop and probably five inches bigger on each side this big. And our prop's only this big. Let's say the ball was this big. And weeds just wrapped around the prop. So I'm guessing that as we were sailing, it got caught on the prop, a big weed pile. And when I turned the engine on, it kind of wrapped up in there. And so, thank God I was able to get all that off there. And we should be back to normal. That's what happened. Last night I made spaghetti and meatballs. So today we're having like... Meatball sandwiches. sandwiches, yep, and some spiced rum. It's kind of fitting on a sailboat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is the wind that way. And the wind's coming right at our, our bow. I don't want that. I, why? There's no weed patches anywhere else. Just right here. Look at that. Am I going to have to dive under again? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Susie, look at this. You're not going to believe what just happened up at the front of the boat. Look at this. What is that? happening? Look at this. Do you see that? Yes. On the anchor line? Uh, hang on. Look at that. Ew! Look at that. It's like Sasquatch. Oh my god, it's really thick too. I don't know. Oh. I, I don't know what to do to get that off. Well, I hope you don't have to dive under and get it off. I don't think I can get that off there. Really? I can't pull the anchor up with it. This whole patch is connected to it. I feel like I need to tape the knife. If I tape the knife to the end of this and have the blade sticking out, I could saw it, you know? If you swim out there, you could probably just yank it off real good. Yeah, probably. And then it'll just float by. Probably but that's gonna lot. require you getting in again. Probably. Good luck. Oh, go. 
Caution. Caution. Jason's fighting the good fight against the weeds. <laughs> I can't just pull it off. It's like Stop. really long. I gotta cut it. I know. Did you, you brought your knife? It'll get stuck on any, anything else under the boat. You think you could push it away? I'm gonna, look up. I'm gonna wait till it goes by. I'm gonna go look at the prop again. Is it going away? It's going on that side. It's going on the starboard side. We're back underway now, and it seems that our problem is solved. We were able to turn and get good propulsion from the props, so that's it. We were really thankful that our prop didn't fall off, even if that was a dumb idea. So that's it. Right, Susie? What? Right? Right. Uh,